Well, hello, Capricorn. How are you guys doing today? Um, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. Capricorn, I'm doing something different. So I'm going to use Oracle cards today. Of course, I'm going to do Tarot, but I'm going to, this is going to be all about you, okay? Um, and what you need to know. And then we're going to find out why the Oracle cards came out, okay? I've done it for other signs and I love it. So we're going to go ahead and get started with you and see what we got, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and get started, Cap. All right, first card that came out here is negative thinking. Uh-huh. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up with this negative thinking? Here it says unfounded negative thoughts are very worth are very worth being aware of. All right. At the bottom of the deck, it says start a new hobby. Maybe you should, okay, to get your mind off of things. Now, here with this negative thinking, I definitely feel like, you know, she has debt everywhere. She's thinking about money, you know. Some of you guys could be thinking about that, but Capricorn, you guys are doing really well when it comes down to finances for the most part, and if not, you will be. But debt could be something that you don't have, something that's lacking. It could be love, okay, and it hasn't been it hasn't been what you what you want it to be okay and so all you can do right now is just think negatively <laughs> but what we're going to do is look into the tarot and find out why is this here why is this here for capricorn what is this all about <clears throat> all right here with the four of swords with the full card and the justice, absolutely. You want to know why you have negative thinking? Because your person hasn't done anything yet and you feel like what you have been through has been very unfair. That's why. Okay? That's why. But what's so amazing about this is saying that it has been a pause. There has nothing that has been happening because there's a four source that's been at rest, been at a pause. But the full card comes in and say, okay, things are about to start moving. All right? New beginnings are about to happen. Injustice, there are things that will start to become fair to you. Karma for you. So it's okay. Negative thinking is okay, but you don't want to stay into that and stay in that mode. Okay, we want to get out of that. So that's the first one that I have for you. Negative thinking, we're going to get out of that. Fool card here talks about new beginnings starting for you. And then at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, I know that's right. Ace of Pentacles and brand new opportunities. Um, huge opportunities that you're about to face and also talk about finances. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's get your second one. We're going to get three and then we're going to look into the tarot. <clears throat> I want to do this every week. So please, please check your rising, your sun and your moon. All of those are going to play a role. Okay. So that's for you know, each sign, I'm letting you guys know that. This is not just looking at one of your signs. You got to look at all three. Okay, let's go ahead and get your second one. Oh, wow. Okay. So this actually came out again. We're not going to take it because one fell in my lap. <laughs> so I just think this is just saying the reason why this is here. It says there's something that you enjoy, enjoy doing it because of the negative thinking. Okay. But the one that came came out was wake up early now this is just telling you that you need to be productive and i think you guys are very productive so i don't think you have an issue with that it's just saying some of you guys are kind of maybe you know taking your time getting out of bed you know you, there's things that you know how you get to the end of the day and you're kind of like dang i wish i could have did that I, there's not enough time in a day well get up early start doing it okay and you wouldn't even excuse me you wouldn't have that excuse all right at the bottom of the deck it's talking about avoiding toxic people too so this is friends family whoever but let's see why this wake up early is here. Let's see what this is all about for Capricorn. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Okay. It's just going for y'all today. So it's because of busy, just being busy here with the eight of wands. Okay. Um, here with the chariot again needing to get moving because there's you know deep down inside there's things that you want to do you just feel like you just don't have enough time today to do it so it's kind of like okay we just gonna have to add a little bit extra time to your day but it doesn't mean for you not to get any sleep okay so just wake up a little bit earlier maybe even 30 minutes earlier okay this could be exercising this could be cleaning up the house it could be something like that but just go ahead and get moving and that way when you go to sleep at night you're not sitting up here saying oh 
damn, I wish I could have done that. Just just wake up to get a little, little bit of something done. Here I have the Knight of Cups. Now, I also feel like the Knight of Cups is love, okay, and, and um, a love offer, but I feel like there are going to be things that you're going to be bringing to yourself, okay? Now you're manifesting things, okay? This is another one that came out <clears throat> here with the Seven of Pentacles. Absolutely. Why? Because what you invest, you will reap here with the Knight of Cups. You're going to reap. So wake up early. You're going to feel very fulfilled when that happens, okay? So even though you're busy during the day, and there's a lot of stuff that you're doing. Just wake a little bit, uh, wake up a little bit earlier, so that way it won't be a complaint. Okay, and I'm just telling. <laughs> but you know, I do feel like there is going to be a reconciliation with you and your person, though. We're not talking about them, but I'm saying it. Okay, but this is just your information, what you need to know. We're going to get to Tarot in a bit. All right, let's get uh, let's get Capricorn's last card. Let's see what we got here. Capricorn. There you go. Thank you. Exercise. I just said it, didn't I? Because some of you guys are complaining. I don't have enough time in the day. Get, up, get your butt up. Okay? And wake up 30 minutes in a day so you can get your stuff done. And this is just one example, in which is exercising. Here it says, love yourself enough to exercise and enjoy the glow of good health. And a lot of the signs are getting good health cards. This is stuff that they're needing to do. So, you know, if you need that extra time, Wake up and get that extra time. At the bottom of the deck, it says lie and truth. Use discernment. See things for what they really are and not for what you want them to be. Message. Okay. This is around anybody. Okay. No matter who you're, who you're around, know the difference. Have enough discernment between the lie and the truth. So that means if someone comes back in your life or someone new come into your life. This doesn't mean that you are going to be facing it. But now just have discernment. So this way you wouldn't be feeling this unfulfillment. You know, sometimes we can be gullible, okay? So let's go ahead. Let's get this um, card for exercise. Let's see why this is here. It came out really early. Look at what happens when you start exercising. New things start to happen here with the Ace of Wands. Very exciting. Your body is going to look good. Your health is going to be better here with the Ace of Wands. Here with the Wheel of Fortune. What is not going to happen? Let's start with the devil. The devil energy here talks about to toxicity negative thinking right you're not doing anything that's why the devil was there so in order for things to progress start getting up start moving exercising is part of that ace of wands are opportunities huge opportunities and exciting times for you and it's going to be very good here with the will of fortune same thing okay so it's it's about your health okay now again we're going to get into tarot because i know what that means <clears throat> and stop battling yourself to not get up in the morning here with the five of wands <laughs> that is so funny all right so we're going to go ahead and get into the tarot i do see a lot of new things starting here for you don't think that i don't see it because i see it so we're going to go ahead and see what tarot has for you i see a lot of brand new starts i see new people i mean people coming into your life coming back and new people coming in and I see um, brand new beginnings, a lot of them. So let's go ahead and get this for Capricorn. Oof, sorry. Messed up that card. Okay, so here I have the Hermit. <clears throat> okay, remember, get up, get moving, get going. Not, not to just be sitting in the house, not doing anything, okay? Some of you guys are just feeling that feeling right now. There's nothing that's going to be happening. But look at all these love cards. Two of Cups. The Lovers. Ace of Cups. You have a love like crazy coming in. Some of you guys are feeling lonely. Some of you guys are feeling like nothing is going to happen. That is not true. Remember, it starts with you. Start moving, Okay? Once you get your routine down, all of this stuff is going to happen. New love is going to come in for a lot of you. And then for some of you, this is talking about past love too. Here with the page of wands, someone coming in with communication. Last two. Feeling very grounded. Absolutely. Money is going to be on point. I love it. <clears throat> Offers being given. Last one. Here with the four of cups. Now, I feel like someone else now is in this position. That is them. Someone is missing you. Someone is feeling stuck in their head, even though this is the what you've been thinking with the negative thinking. But you're going to be getting out of that. Isn't that right? Capricorn. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get your 
last manifestation oracle card for Capricorn today. Sorry. Let's go ahead and get it. Let's get this card for Capricorn. It's like sometimes it want to pop out. It is not been trying to pop out lately. Capricorn, please. Card for Capricorn. If it doesn't pop out, I'm just going to pull. There we go. All right. This is the one that turned over. That's what I'm taking. At the bottom of the deck, it has correct course. Okay. And here it says, be your brilliant self. Exactly. Exactly. What does it say? Be great today. Be brilliant. That's what you're supposed to do when you wake up in the morning. That's what that's that affirmation. It says this car asks you to get in touch with the extraordinariness of everyday living. Go about your daily life doing everything to the very best of your ability. Okay, not lacking. Be extraordinary in an ordinary way. <laughs> it says your bril your brilliance will radiate into the world, creating more change than you can possibly imagine. So the thing is, it starts with you. Here at the bottom of the desk, I mean desk, deck, it says course correct. It says if an obstacle or diversion has interrupted your plans, this card is here to assure you that the delay is is um, <clears throat> huge, basically, okay? Bringing you an opportunity to pause and reassess in order to fine tune your direction. Now, that's true, but we don't want to stay in a pause energy forever. But the thing is, it's basically saying that now there's going to be new things for you. Remember, new beginnings. We saw the Ace of Wands. We saw the full card. Get ready for it, but you have to be ready, right? So when it's there, you're going to be prepared. So this is what I have for you, Capricorn. Again, this is gonna, I wanna have these readings every week, okay? This is gonna be for us, meaning our signs. I'm not a Capricorn, but for our signs only and what we need to know and not focus so much on what other people are gonna do and what they're not gonna do and that they're not gonna come in, uh-uh. Okay, this is all about progression. So this is your reading. I love you so much, Capricorn. Again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe. Also, please check your rising sun and moon. Capricorn, I'll see you guys back here again tomorrow. Bye, guys.